The control board is the external interface of the device and bears a large amount of data. It is the core of system control, service switching, and the convergence of the whole product. In single control board scenarios, all tasks are performed by one control board with no backup mechanism available. When the control board is faulty, the product cannot run. When two control boards are configured, they back each other up and have fast switching capability and a powerful uninterrupted forwarding capability. The two control boards work in active standby mode or load sharing mode. Active standby mode works as follows. In active standby mode, the active control board works normally and communicates with external devices. The standby control board only exchanges information with the active control board. The maintenance network port, ETH, does not receive user configurations. The serial port, CON, receives configuration commands from the user and forwards them to the active control board for processing. When the active control board is faulty, the system automatically performs the active standby switchover. When the system is upgraded or the active control board is replaced or maintained, run the active standby switchover command to perform the active standby switchover manually. When the standby control board receives information indicating that the active board is abnormal, or when the active standby switchover command is executed, the standby control board takes over the services of the active control board and reports a switchover event. The active and standby control boards achieve data consistency by using high availability mechanisms such as batch backup, real-time backup, and data smoothing. After the standby control board is installed, the active control board automatically backs up data of all modules to the standby control board in batches. The active board synchronizes all the backup data to the standby board at once. After the batch backup is complete, the two control boards work in the normal state and the system is in the real-time backup state. The backup data of the active control board is synchronized to the standby control board in real-time. This process is called active standby data synchronization. The data to be synchronized include configuration data, basic running data, and dynamic service data. Dynamic service data changes the fastest and occupies most of the synchronized data volume. Therefore, it is difficult to synchronize dynamic service data and data smoothing is mainly applied to this data instead. When the active standby switchover occurs, the standby control board communicates with the service board to collect and synchronize data with the service board before the standby control board becomes the active one. This ensures that the dynamic service data can be fully synchronized and the system can run normally after the active standby switchover. This process, called data smoothing, is very short. After data smoothing is complete, the standby control board works as the new active control board. Load sharing mode works as follows. On the control plane, the active and standby control boards work in active standby mode. The CPU of the active control board acts as the group leader managing the system and processing the control protocol. The CPU of the standby control board is in the backup state, acting as the group member. On the forwarding plane, the two control boards work in load sharing mode to forward data. The system uses the load sharing algorithm to distribute service board data to the two control boards. In load sharing mode, upstream ports on the two control boards are in the working state. The combined bandwidth of the service board and control board is double that of active standby mode. In load sharing mode, active standby switchover and data synchronization between the active and standby control boards are the same as in active standby mode. When the active control board is faulty, the active control board is replaced or the system is upgraded and active standby switchover occurs on the control plane. The standby control board becomes the active control board and manages the system. During the active standby switchover, the forwarding plane continues working, ensuring uninterrupted data forwarding. 